fairly straightforward mission, and it may or may not end up very badly for you all. Depends on how you are. Just tell us what it is. And he says that looking at Vol. <laughs> Depends on how patient people are. Um, oh, so true. there was several wealthy men that had things stolen out of the warehouses. And... You don't say! There's quite a few. <laughs> um, we know who the perpetrators yeah. are. We need you to go retrieve the items. The issue Can with we this... sleep first? Oh, absolutely. You will be sleeping. I'm just telling you what... Uh, and in the barracks, by the way. Or if you wish to go to a hotel, you may. Uh, that is your choice. I'll take what's free. So, um... Yes, we'll put you up in the barracks tonight and even give you a hearty breakfast in the morning. Um, but I'm just making sure you know what it is so you can prepare if you do need to change your spells or whatnot for this particular mission. Uh, the, the culprits are goblins, which makes it quite tricky on the situation. We can't send actual guards because they will see it as a threat. That's why we have to send contracted people on this one. So, the request is, if at all possible, to make it a non-lethal encounter. Go in, deal with them, convince them to give us back the items, everybody is happy. Does anybody else know how this is, well, this is going to go? Can I inside check him to see how, if at all possible, is... Go ahead and roll it. Um, the the reason we are wanting that um, he sound he's sounding like he doesn't think it's possible. Okay. There is five tribes of goblins here that are all loosely aligned together and against the town, but there is a truce that has been in order for a while uh, that involves not killing each other um, or us. And the problem is it didn't cover theft, so this is something that's coming up now and was not thought about before. So we have to clean it up. The items that need to be retrieved, there are several that uh, we know what they are. When they were retrieved to us, we will pull them to the side. If there is any other items, however, that is found, we will put them in a lost and found, per se. Uh, and if they aren't retrieved in 30 days, they will be yours. That will be your payment, because I almost guarantee there are people that are not going to retrieve their items in that time. What items are you looking for, then? It is um, of the magical variety, as well as a few mundane arts and stuff like that. That was uh, taken. Uh, shinies, as the goblins call it. And he will use the word, the goblin word for shiny. Do they have any names? Is there something specific we should be looting off of dead bodies? I, I mean, not dead goblin bodies, obviously, maybe, probably. They're going to die. You will realize yeah. that it's not of goblin make. And anything that is not of goblin make needs to be retrieved and brought back to us. Mm. So, we, we're not entirely sure of what all they took. The <laughs> items, though, that we know for sure need to be retrieved, there is a tiara. Uh, it has got immense magical power. Uh, it was bought by a collector and needs to be got to him. He is funding quite a bit of this. Uh, there is also a sword that is golden handled and inlaid with more jewels and make it practical it is purely an art piece he wants it back that's a different guy and there is also another one that has a book he really wishes to have that is extremely powerful as well you will be able to sense their magic aura before you even get to them without casting anything i am told except for the art piece sword that obviously will not have magic but will look very pretty why the fuck would anybody want to own a sword that's not practical? Mostly weak people that really enjoy flaunting their wealth. Well, they what's don't this... deserve a sword, then. What's this guy's name? While I agree with you, I, I cannot <laughs> uh, you know, say that to the man's face. Uh, the three individuals that have lost these items do request and remain anonymous, so I can't tell you that. However, uh, do note that they will look on you with favor um, if you do complete this there may be a bonus if you can retrieve it in a timely fashion 
Well, where are they at? Where's the uh, entrance to the goblins? Well, that's the thing. It's it's one of two tribes. It's either. Are you guys zoomed out on the map? Not yet. Hold on. I am now. It's either the Yantish tribe, which is here, okay. or it is the Zentar tribe, which is down here. We have okay. reason to believe that it's probably the Yantish. I didn't see any of that. Oh, pay attention. One's here. One's here. Didn't see any of that. It should be moving right. your scroll. Yeah, Zoom in a bit. Moving the... Zoom in. They're on the right side. <clears throat> Southeast, right here? basically. Oh, there we go. Okay. And right here. Oh, gotcha. All right. Cool. They are difficult to get to. Well, the one is extremely difficult to get to. <laughs> but uh, the easiest way is by boat. We will provide you with a single sail boat uh, to get around quickly to those areas and discuss these treaties with them. And, of course, once you come back, like I said, any of the items that are found that are not recovered are reclaimed will be yours at the end of 30 days. Um, and there will be a small monetary reward as well. Um, and then after that, you are all free to do what you will. Just, you, you're even free to leave the island if you wish. But uh, do note that you may be contacted by ascending at some point in order to retrieve the other two uh, fares. To collect the rest of the dead. To the town. And... Does, this, does this all sound like a fair, uh, fair trade? You You'll said we can kill people? You may kill the goblins if you must. However, please try to keep it non-lethal first. <laughs> okay, where, 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 where do I gotta make my mark to say I can kill people? It's you are... After you blow them all to the hell, put one in his leg so we can say we try. Part of the reason <laughs> we did the interview the way we did is now I have files on each one of you. Your file will be put into the mission envelope for you, and in the terms of that mission, if there is killing that needs to be done then it is dismissed. All right. Where's our boat at? Uh, that will be in the harbor. Uh, the south and harbor, the one that was not actually attacked. Can I have my sword back? Absolutely, you may. Um, I actually still have them all in the armor, and you may go retrieve all of your items, and then you may all sleep. Uh, rest well, because tomorrow will lead to an interesting encounter. Can I... Uh... Where exactly are we at? Are we still on that one place uh, down here? Yep. Yep. Can I go to the uh, place? Uh, Ravine Temple? Uh, the Red Temple, Dragon. yeah. For, no, the Temple uh, for a decade. Okay. Absolutely. Just going to pray. Pray, meditate. Uh, and, yeah. Are you going to sleep at the barracks with the Aelin Guard? Uh, no, I'm going to sleep there. At the okay. temple. You do know where to meet them in the morning. They will give you detailed on what dock to go to for the boat and all that. Uh, so you retrieve your gear and head off to the temple to pray and meditate and sleep at the temple. <clears throat> Being a follower, you are allowed to sleep there uh, for free. Basically, you can grab a pew. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to uh, just go stand outside the uh, the door of uh, where we were told the other guys were being held and listen in to see if I can hear if they uh, convict them. Um... You will hear some guards talking. They've already been taken away from this area. They have been convicted. However, with the laws the way they are, they're being taken to the Prevean camp in order to be... their punishment to be followed through on that. 
Yeah. So, um, if you wish to find out more what the punishment is, typically from Provia, for the, the acts that they have committed, you may. Yeah, I'll walk over there and see what see what happens with them. Okay. Um, would, you, uh, oh, would you like some company on that? Sure. I, th- I, think, we sh- I think we should grab some beer to uh, take with us. Can, can we can we grab some beer from the barracks first? Um. Yes, they do. They do charge you two copper. Uh, for an, uh, a mug of ale. Uh, Bruce said this was on him. <laughs> Bruce never pays for anyone. <laughs> okay. Bruce did say he was going to buy me coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer Bruce? to be an ale? <laughs> what Bruce time is there? Good new leaf. Uh, at this point, it's like four in the morning. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, so you guys grab some mail and head on over to Pervia, uh, the Pervian guard area. <clears throat> you will quickly find out that you are not allowed to go in to see the cultists. Uh, the guards will uh, inform you of that very quickly. However, they will ask what your interest is. What is your interest in them? I want to verify that justice is going to be done. Were you the ones they accused falsely? Yes. Yes. Are you familiar with Pervian law? No. No. Hmm. Well, it is uh, quite interesting. Given the state of what they did, murderers, uh, uh, first, if you have taken one's life, you have forfeited your own, uh, especially if it is done in malice, and that is definitely the case. So their lives are forfeit. However... As the people that are wronged by their actions, uh, you have second line of choice of purchase, if you wish. The families of the deceased are the ones that will have first dibs for that. And they may purchase them as uh, slaves, who are to serve out their life sentence, indebted to the, uh, to the family. If they decline, it'll go to you. If you guys decline, they will go to the mines in Provia, where they will work hard labor for the rest of their lives, trying to bring out mine uh, ore for us, and usually that's a short-lived life, about two, three years of hard labor, before they How often does dead. the family decide to, like, you know... If the family is wealthier, they tend to do so, and then, um, you know, tie rocks to their feet and throw them overboard. Uh, that's that's the most common thing I've seen happen here, but uh, uh, that's again not very often. We don't have more than maybe a murder a month. How uh, how much would it cost? Uh, that is up to their to the worth of them. No, slavery is not very common unless you're a criminal. So, given their history. It depends on that. It's not for me to say. You'd have to talk to one of the auctioneers, as they are. Guys, we should totally buy one. How long do the families have to make their choice? Uh, they have seven days. Seven days. I'm pretty sure one of them stabbed me. Can I don't want his life. Can I just stab him back instead? Hmm. Gangsta stab. Where are you from? Uh, Torburn. Torburn. Do you know which one it was that stabbed you? Yeah, that one right there. Where did he stab you? you? Right here. Very well, stab him at the same place. (laughs) It is the law of your land. (laughs) I love my land. (laughs) I, I, I will let you know that we will patch him up afterwards so he does live, but... Justice will be done for your your land. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. <laughs> yes. I will like go around the corner, pull one of my eyes out, and be like, "Look at what he did to me!" <laughs> I take my sword and stab him right in the lung. Give him a good jab there. Uh, two guards actually hold him while you do that. <laughs> I love this place. So <laughs> they are uh tiring. He they they're seeming to enjoy this first off. They don't uh take kindly to people murdering and trying to summon demons. 
Um, and he, of course, wheezes. Some blood pours out. A little bit of blood comes out his uh, mouth as he's breathing out. Uh, as you did get a good hit on the lung there. Um, and they will just kind of smile and kind of toss him backwards on the floor, letting him wheel or like heave for a minute before the doctor will come in and patch him up. I get up real, real close to him and say, "I'm gonna buy you. Just you wait," and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm 100% serious, guys. We could have a tumbler <laughs> that we own. I, I don't want the one that I just stabbed the butler for me, though. One Can is we... a man, one is a female. You just stabbed the man. We lost very long. Oh. Hey, we just... We, I stabbed the guy? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, good. The yeah, female is the one that you had nearly pissing pants. Oh. All right. So. Yeah, I walked back to the barracks. I'm going to go find me some more alcohol. Like, I'm wondering, guys, we could have a slate. Good. They have wronged you. We got to wait like a whole week, though, bro. We got a well, week we to make the money. Be... Yeah, and then we should be done with our task before then. That sounds good to me. And then we can buy a slave and make him do ridiculous things. <clears throat> I'm All in. Right. So, everybody, you guys have discussed these things. You're all in places you're going to be drinking, eating, sleeping, whatever you're doing. I'm assuming that nobody, nobody's getting up to like, noon, given the fact that it has been a hell of a day for all of you. Yes, it has. Yeah. With that said, I need everybody to actually, at this point, level up to level 3. Sweet. You guys have hit the uh, story point there. So we will take a 5-10 minute break. Alright, so, the morning comes around, the morning fades to noon, or rises to noon, I guess rises to noon makes more sense, and you guys all start to slowly rouse from your sleep, and the extreme motions of the day before. I start whole meditating. Crap, whole crap ton of stuff happened that day, so... Alright. Um, you guys are set to meet the guy that has the ship. Which is more of a boat, really. Him and his two-man crew are going to take you guys over there. And you're going to be meeting him at 2 o'clock at the pre-prescribed dock. Can I, uh... Can I make my way down to the Red Dragon Inn and just let the uh, barkeep know that uh, I might be late for my first day work? I'm on a super secret, super special mission. Very well. I'm not going to show up today. That's what I tell him. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, sorry. I have things that need to get done. I may Fuck have gotten off. arrested last night. I wasn't even drunk. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, that's what she did wrong. Make sure to be drunk next time. I'll try. You got some mail? <laughs> For the trip? Or wherever you're going? Yep. Sure. All right. I grab he a cask. A, yeah, he'll give you a, a, a small cask. Throw it on my shoulder and walk back to the docks. Because it's going to come out of your first paycheck, though. That's cool. <laughs> All your money is just going to get spent right back there. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> Alright. So you guys will meet there at 2 o'clock, unless anybody else has anything else to do. You'll have plenty of time to cast any rituals in the morning. Um, procure any weapons if you need to. So on, so on, so on. Is there anyone around here that might sell potions of healing? And how much do these potions cost? Potions of healing will cost 50 gold, and yes, there is a place that sells them. There's uh, a place up on one of the hills called uh, the Voodoo Doll. I cannot afford that. I will head straight for the boat. Uh -huh. Vol, did you just say something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to ask if he says something now, and he's just like... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Hmm. Saxon, do you have anything to do today before you... Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, I mean, there's some things I'd like to do, but they all cost money. So I'm probably just going to see, like, how long does the ritual take? I think it's an hour, isn't it? Or ten minutes? Yes. Do I, I, think have it's, I think it depends on what the spell is. I think it's an hour in, that one. Here. Do I have an hour? Oh, yeah. I'm going to summon my familiar. Okay. Do you want him so to be visible a... or visible? That's the first thing he asks when he comes out. Ah, oh, invisible. Oh. My bad. So he will go better. invisible, and you'll be able to hear him when he talks and stuff like that. But can I see him, or nope. can nobody? See him? You cannot see him. I'm good with that. <laughs> you know he's around. You can like feel his presence as per the familiar spell, I believe. What's um, his name? My name is going to be uh, impronounceable to you. Call me what you wish. Oh. Is there something you would like for me to call you? <clears throat> the last person I served called me Little Bastard. I'd prefer not that. How about Warwick? Warwick? Alright. Yes. Done. That has war and fire in it. I'm good with it. Yeah, hey, quick questions. Oh, uh, yeah, just one second. I'm reading this real quick. While you're familiar with it, within 100 feet of you, you communicate with it telepathically. <clears throat> so you're aware when it's within 100 feet of you. You can also see through the familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until the end, uh, start of your next turn. Um, that is an action, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's an action. During this time, you're blind and deaf. Um, yeah. There you go. Done. It can't attack, but it can use uh, other actions as normal. <clears throat> Just so you know. So. Uh... And I'm not telling anybody that I have him. It's fine, you don't know too. And I could just think I'm crazy. <laughs> Although, I do have one question just because this would be fun for roleplay. Can he speak, like, audibly to other people? Um, yes, he actually has the ability to do so. Hold on, I'm moving uh, an imp up for you right now. And I will give you control of him. You can make his name what you will. There you go. And it should have it should have all the rules for him in the character sheet for it too. And there you go. It's up there for you. But he uh, he can speak in infernal and common. So yes, he can speak in common to other people. Where is how do I change his name on this thing? Got it. Um, here, I can do it for you. We're, no, got it. You got it? Okay. But he will explain how he works, so you can do this stuff as it, as you wish. Because he can transform into a rat, a raven, or a spider. <clears throat> you can see in magic Can he darkness. go visible, invisible, no? Um, I believe it is at will. Turns invisible until it attacks or until its concentration ends. Any equipment that it is wearing, yeah, it's just at well. I like this guy. We're gonna get him. Okay. So there you go. And he actually has a token already. Did you see his token icon? Yes. He's wearing a skull on his head. Hmm. That amuses me. All right. So. Um, Vol, was there anything you wanted to do before the departure? No, but I had a question. If I I forgot to look through that magical item list, is is it still still do that later? You could do that later. Yes. Yeah, um, okay. that's all I wanted to know. However, uh, Vol, just so you know, there is a thing in your player journal now. 
you should be able to see. You see where your character sheet the, is on your PC? There should be yeah. anything called player handouts there for you. <clears throat> there is a handout in there you can read. You see it? Uh huh. Yep. Okay. That you do have that dream. So and uh <clears throat> so you'll know that. Can I? Uh, can we ask the uh, the guards that are bringing us over here if they have any information about uh, these goblins that we should know? Possibly, uh, what is it? The uh, Yat Yatmish Yat Yamtish. That's who we're going to first to take a look at. Mm, they're a little further away by boat, but you could. They're more likely. Who are we going to first? Soul. You can go to. The, we call them Z and Y because it's easier to say than their like, okay. goblin tongues. Y is more likely the ones that probably stole it. Z is a little bit further away. I don't think they could have gotten there in time, but they are more devilish and uh, bloodthirsty than any of those. They're more prone to attack and steal things from us than anything else. So they could have just happened to be there at the right time. How big are these uh, encampments of theirs? Mm. <clears throat> Small-ish. Um, a high-level wizard could go in and just annihilate the whole thing without a, much of an issue. Uh, usually about 20 to 30 of their warriors. Um, depends on if their hunters are in or out. Um, and also uh, usually a dozen or so wargs that they ride. But if the hunters are out, those wargs will mostly be gone. Okay. Do you happen to have any uh, equipment we can take with us? Maybe some healing potions or anything of the like? Got nothing like that for you, but uh, do you got some advice, which is when you do have to get into combat with them, go f get as close to the little bastards as you can. They do a lot better uh, at range than they do when you're close to you. Good to know. Is there any, is there like a leader of them we should know about? If there is, we don't know the names. Goblins okay. don't have a very long lifespan. This <clears throat> treaty was settled, would have been last generation for them. That generation would have already passed away, and another generation would be in charge right now, and the third generation would be the ones that are warriors. So, just for the record, it's very possible that a lot of them could die of old age, air quotes. Mm, possible. Okay, just check. Let's get to sailing. I brought some Hold alcohol on. for us. <laughs> he like came out, saw, stabbed himself 37 times in the chest. It was the weirdest case of suicide I ever seen. I have another question for you. Um, should our encounter with the goblins result in fighting, um, would the knowledge of us being sent there by you result in breaking the treaty? That's why you're going on your own. Don't be attached to the cities. <clears throat> if you are, I can guarantee they'll have you clean up the mess. I have a question. Can I... Do I have time to ask around some questions to certain people? You will have about an hour. It an may not hour? be enough time for you to search around on everything. However, if you do want to ask some questions, you may. Uh, where... Who would I talk to about the layout of the city or um, would I naturally or, or or is it obvious where the crypts are there are several crypts actually okay um <clears throat> all the temples actually have a entrance to the crypts however the actual um crypts to the city like the city's crypts itself are actually up in here okay north of the uh place where you guys had the ritual 
However, the crypts themselves actually spread out over that entire half of the town. Which which half? Oh, okay. So. Um. So. Is is there specific places where certain people are buried? You can probably find out that information. <clears throat> Depends on how recently they died. Or how famous they are. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, who, where's, uh, is, uh, what's his name? The dude that, uh, the guard that was our, kind of our, yeah, jail free card guy. Bellhorn? Bellhorn is yeah. actually currently in lockup till his, uh, trial. For failing to report <laughs> oh, uh, no. vital information. Uh, is there a Dude official person around that I can talk to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I walk up. I walk up to him or her, You'll and I ask, uh, "Are there very many wizards around here?" Fair number. Yeah. And you need a spell cast. What? You need a spell cast. I do not need a spell cast, actually. I'm looking for a wizard uh, that died uh, within, a, I don't know, a lifetime ago or so. Well, <clears throat> most wizards choose to be buried back at their... Uh, their places that they were born, or they were trained, um, returning back home, as they call it. Uh, so, probably wherever they came from. However, there is a dozen or two, perhaps, that were buried here, that were born here and raised here, uh, learned their magic here. Not common, Could you, but it happens. How, how many would you say there were at the best guess? <laughs> Dozen or two, I, I don't know exactly. Would they all be that buried? That kind of information, I'd recommend talking to uh, to the crypt keepers. Where can I locate them? And in the crypts. They all uh, right. they're they're pretty uh, pretty easy to find there. They um, tend to keep towards the entrances of the crypts, uh, at least uh, the beginning of each crypt, uh, not the ones in the temple, the other ones to keep people from wandering in. Although most of them live underground in the crypts themselves, they're really an odd, creepy folk. I wouldn't All recommend right. talking to them unless you absolutely have to. I'll heed your advice, and thank you. Come on. And I'm going to head over to here, mm -hmm. and see if I can find somebody to talk to really quick. You will see three large crypt entrances, um facing away from each other in, like, almost triangle form. Like, they're all facing okay. the center of that circle. Um, and, uh, they, they do on the outside have some names written on it, family names, um, of where people are buried. Uh, but they, they're very large families for that. But, uh, mostly it's, uh, adorned with, uh, arcane symbols and divine symbols and archaic symbols that you don't recognize uh, for most of them. Some of the divine ones you'll recognize. Some of the archaic ones you may as well. Okay. Um, do I see anybody at all? Any of the crypt keepers? They'd be underground. Okay. You'd have to enter the crypt and you'll find them shortly thereafter. Uh, I'll go in... What what's the what's on each one? Um, mostly their family names. Even the ancient uh, runes are uh, a family tie, a tribe. Uh, some of the divine runes are uh, specifically who they worshipped. Okay. The worship um, of this. I will go in one of them. Uh, no. I, yeah. One, two, or three. Three. 
Okay, you go in at number three. <clears throat> you go in, and the stairs go down. There's a lamp or uh, a torch about every forty feet. The torch is burning, but with no heat whatsoever, and casting a very dim light. Uh. So you'll go down, down, down. It's about a good uh, two hundred feet going down at this angle, till you'll reach the bottom. And you'll see a man, heavy cloak, all dark, his hands are tucked underneath it. He will be sitting there and he will look up slightly. You could just barely make out the bottom of his chin. And I say, I I'm looking for someone. Many that come down are. Who do you wish to pay tribute to? I wish to pay my respects to a wizard. There are several. Uh, specifically one that has been known to study the Tower of the Gods, if that's been known. Yes, you are seeking the Vashor. He has been dead for quite some time. Has not had a visitor in at least five years. In five years? Who was the most previous person to visit him? Do you I do not contain that knowledge. I do recommend, however, avoiding doing this at the moment. That area of the crypts are closed off for Repairs. Repairs for what? From what, I mean? If you are not aware of what happened above the ground, then maybe you should go seek that information elsewhere. But large foots cause tremors. As the boat fell below, dude. Okay. Uh, uh, roll a... I... Roll a... Uh, oh, what is that check? Um, insight. <laughs> he is definitely hiding something from you. However, he is giving you partial truth. You, you can tell that 100%, but he is definitely hiding something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to ask him again uh, to tell me more about what he knows about this wizard. He was born Zahor. That is the only Zahor native that actually is buried here from the arcane style. Spent his entire life here studying. Except for the times he apparently traveled away to find information on the God's Tower elsewhere. Hmm. Do you know where he might have went? I do not. We do not keep records of life. I only know this because he was one of the more unique. We keep records of death here. He died, you keep saying though, if you, you wish to know, as an old man. You keep saying unique. Why do you keep saying that? He had quite a wealth about him. And though he could have had an extravagant funeral... And very fine halls he chose to have more simple caskets stone mind you fashion in the sense of the god's tower from the same type of stone but not very special he's in a normal room and he was known kind of as a kook hmm. well 
I would really much like to see this wizard, please. When things are cleared out enough that we can allow people back there again, we will. Okay, I'd like to see him now. I'm not you... asking, I'm demanding. <laughs> then good luck finding him. And he waves on. I... It is a maze down here. And without a guide, you will be lost. I... Uh... Moment of truth. Hmm. I'm going to intimidate you do, him. I was going to say, you do realize it's getting very close to the time you're going to have to go meet the party at the ship, too. Just go for it, man. He's you can fine. roll a character, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to try to intimidate him. Wherever... Am I just overlooking it, or... Oh, there we go. Uh, is my seems... camera still frozen? No, you're, you're moving. <clears throat> he definitely seems intimidated by your presence, and he will... He, he will kind of uh, bow his head a bit, uh, looking away from you and go... You can know all you want. The people I serve are far more frightening than you. I will not stop you, but you will not go with our blessing. Uh... I'm gonna try to command him to lead me. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do I just go to spells and do command, or...? He fails. So now what? What is the one word you give him? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I was going to say lead, but he could lead me anywhere. Uh... One more. Uh... Here, click click the link for uh, command. It'll spell out the uh, in the spell sheet area. I'll give uh, the description here in the text thing so we can look at it. I guess I could ask him to... Can I command him to tell the truth? Like, just say truth? Or... <laughs> or... Command truth? If I was in a hurry, this wouldn't be so... Frustrating. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so you command truth, lead. Poop yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Come. Come. <laughs> um. Truthful. Let's go with that. He looks up at you. His eyes are glazed over as he looks at you. Obviously, um, going to be truthful, but what do you want him to be truthful about? Tell me how to 
get to the wizard. He will tell you. Um, it'll take about 45 minutes to get there from where you are. Um, and it is the closest entrance. And he'll give you the full directions. With his stick marking it out on the ground. Runes are glowing. As he does. Give me an intelligence check to try to remember it. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, duh. Alright, you're pretty sure you can get uh, most of the way there. It is hard to commit it to memory because there is so many twists and turns, but you're fairly positive you can get there. Okay, and it doesn't say that he would remember, so... No, it's not. So does that mean he won't remember the whole thing? He don't remember, he just doesn't know why. He's not aware he was commanded. Okay, because I don't want to come back and then have him be like, oh, we moved him, ha ha ha. <laughs> Moving an entire sarcophagus would be hard. Just saying, magic. <laughs> that is true. He's a wizard. <clears throat> that is true. Uh, so, yeah, so okay, so he doesn't remember... Whoa, yeah, you went all robot. What? You went all robot. Can you you're hear me now? now? Yeah, you're good now. So, yeah, just, uh, okay, so I'll say to him afterwards, uh, sorry I disturbed you. Uh, I'll leave you be, and I'll you go know, back to the ship. I would still recommend waiting going there, he will add, as you're leaving. It is not safe to get there right now, as you're walking what up do the you stairs. Mean? Ah! You're, like, walking up. You can stop and, like, turn around and talk again. I, I ask him why he says it's not safe. As I've said, there is some damages. Again, you realize he's telling you a half-truth. Yeah. Um. Fuck it, whatever. It's called foreshadowing. Yeah. I'm not a good listener. <laughs> Alright. So you head to the ship? Not because I want to, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you guys all meet up at the ship. Uh, a th uh, thorn will be brought there as well. Finally taken out of the uh, net. And hmm. that is where we're going to call it for tonight. Okay. So we're, on the, so we're on the ship. You guys are on the ship as it is casting out. Okay. To go negotiate and or slaughter, more likely slaughter, all the goblins. My bad. Let's cleanse the bloodlines. I like slaughtering. Um, oh, I mean, they are wretched creatures. A wretched yeah. creature. Which is funny, because you guys are half-orcs. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, like, related, but... I'm a strong... I'm a strong, wretched creature. They're a weak, wretched, wretched creature. Only the victorious right history. Alright, so that's it. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed it today. It was a lot more roleplay, I know. but uh, yeah. I'm good with that. I, it has uh, to bounce around a little bit here and there. So, Are we Tuesday next week? Tuesday next week. Um, okay. As of right now, so... Yeah, I know like a Justin said Wednesdays work better for him typically, but... I'm good either way. 
Anybody else? Uh, it doesn't really matter for me. Switching uh, days? Well, just a, a thought of it. Doesn't matter to me. And what about you, Tim? Yeah, Wednesdays work uh, fine for me until I go back to work. Um, in two weeks, I won't be able to be there on Wednesday. Uh, other than we'll probably that. still keep it at Tuesdays. That is my guess, honestly. Just because in order to move it to Wednesdays all the time, Kranz's game would have to be changed, and that's not going to work. So Whatever, screw Kranz. Oh, I'm a <laughs> player in the game, so I want to play. Hmm. Like, he's change. letting me play like one of the most broken classes and broken races combination ever. So we'll, we'll um, fix it. I'm I'm playing an immortal or a, a mystic immortal warforged. So I never have to uh, sleep. I never have to eat. I gain they have points every round. Warforged in fifth edition. Uh, it is only in playtesting, but yes, they do. Ha <laughs> ha. Krantz lets you play Warforged, and you, like, I had to pull teeth to get to play a Dread Necromancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I still want to play a Mind Flayer. However, yeah, I was just going to say, uh, I do plan on rolling a, or running a, uh, a one-shot at some point. Which I don't want to play a Mind Flayer as a one-shot. I want to play a campaign as a Mind Flayer. <laughs> You know, maybe someday we will play a campaign where it's all high power uh, races, monster races. We'll play a monster campaign. I'm so going to play a mind flare, and I'm going to take over the world by eating people's brains. <laughs> I got one shot by a mind flare at like 12th level. Yeah, that was that was harsh. What are we doing tonight, Brain? Same thing to do every night, Pinky. Taking over the world. Trying to take over the world. Anyways, See, I'm gonna go make it works because you're pinky. Have a wonderful night. Yep, yeah, have a good one. Night. No, why are you trying to throw your shoe at me? I can upgrade. No, don't upgrade. Oh, even better. No, dump truck is even worse. I was going to throw the PJs back, but now I'm afraid what will happen if I do. Mm -hmm. She's threatening to uh, assault me with children's toys. Threatening nothing. Well, right now it is just threatening. <laughs> Ow! Jeez! She hit me with the dump truck. I actually hurt. Well, some... Somebody had to do it. Sadly, it's not the first time I've been hit by a dump truck. <laughs>